Hey everybody, we are Teaching Tilt Brush. And this time in Teaching Tilt Brush, we're going to come out and say it, there is no shame in using beginner mode in Tilt Brush, especially as you're first learning this tool. There's an awful lot going on under the hood. So as you're first learning, using beginner mode can help keep things a little more under control as you learn things piece at a time, rather than trying to jump in with both feet and all of the advanced controls right off the bat. On all versions of Tilt Brush, on your controller at the bottom on the main disk, there is a button that goes back and forth between beginner mode and advanced mode. I'm going to bring this up to the camera so make sure everybody can see this. So on the wheel, this guy in the corner, beginner mode looks like a little happy guy. Advanced mode looks like an award or a medal. Beginner, advanced. There are a couple of differences going into it. The biggest being the optional tools that are available to you. Both beginner and advanced will use the same color palette. So choosing colors works the same way. They both have both versions of the color palette available. They also both have the brushes available, audio brushes as well, if it's available on your platform. So here I am in advanced mode, beginner mode uses the exact same sets of brushes, the exact same color palette. So as you get comfortable using it, there won't be any changes with your brushes and colors, but it's the main tools that are going to be different these guys, as well as a few other options. So for example, in advanced mode, we have the option to customize our panels, move them around, change their placement, change where they are on our control mechanism. In beginner mode, you don't have that add option. In beginner mode, you cannot detach the panels. They are fixed in place on your controller, so you can't accidentally lose them. So one of the biggest differences is that functional optionality of being able to customize your panels. The next difference, you'll notice in advanced mode, we have a lot of different tools here. In beginner mode, we have a total of six tools. These six tools are the same on advanced, but without as many options. So for example, in beginner mode, we have the mirror. And that does indeed put up the mirror, and the mirror does indeed behave the way we expect it to. However, in advanced mode, we have options like toggle the mirror on and off, or call the mirror to us. So if we've moved the mirror far away, in advanced mode, we have the option to bring that mirror to us, summon mirror. And here it is, Summon Mirror. And now it's right next to me. That's only in advanced. In beginner mode, we can turn the mirror on and off. Mirror. Mirror. But that's it. No other options. Same with our other tools in here. We have a straight edge tool. It does, in, it, oops, it does indeed behave the same way as it does in advanced, straight edge. Eraser, same as advanced, just makes things go away. Teleport, same as advanced. So really the mirror doesn't have the same options. The other ones are simple enough so they work the same way. Beginner mode does give you the cameras as well. So you can take your pictures or your GIFs or your videos even in beginner mode. Beginner mode does give you access to the different environments, but it does not let you customize them. So in advanced mode, we can change the color of the lighting and the direction of the lighting. You cannot do that in beginner mode. You can choose the different locations with our pedestal or our pistachio, you know, that kind of thing. There's pistachio for those of you who love the bright colors. They're available but you cannot customize them in beginner mode. What you see is what you got. 
the other difference in beginner mode. With advanced, we have our thumb triggers for undo and redo. So if I draw something, I can left button to undo. In beginner mode, it actually gives you buttons on the controller for undo and redo. So if you're not used to using the thumb buttons independently, we do have those options right on the controller in beginner mode. Redo and undo. So beginner mode gives you all the main tools you need and gets rid of a few of the more confusing options, including customizing the panels. The final difference with beginner mode is the actual wheel itself down here. Bring it up so you guys can see. In beginner mode, we don't have the three dots options for the labs and things like that. Instead, it takes us straight to the main settings. So we do have settings access in beginner mode, but that's it. In advanced mode, this turns into the three dots, which brings up the panel for labs and, and our other options. You'll notice this is also, whoops, this is also where the reset panels button is. We don't need that in beginner mode because you can't customize the panels anyway. So beginner mode simplifies things a little bit, both in the wheel and the main toolbar, and the lack of customization. Some people actually prefer that. If you accidentally move panels type of thing, beginner mode cuts that off. If you need the more advanced tools, they're always going to be there. Or if you're like me, you like those tools, we've gotten used to the controls, I just leave it in advanced mode. There's still, there's no shame in going beginner mode, especially as you're getting going. Let us know if you have any questions. Let us know if you notice any differences on your system. We do this all the time. We're going to have lots more episodes coming out. This will let you know when we've got new ones online. We do this live on Twitch TV slash Shameless Mayhem. And they're archived here on YouTube.com slash Shameless Mayhem as well. Thanks for joining us for Teaching Tilt Brush. We hope to see lots of artwork you create, and we hope to have inspired you to try new things. Beginner mode in Tilt Brush, just another way to play the game. Have fun, everybody.